Hello and welcome to another Let's Play of Ultimate Adam Caverns of Chaos pre-early uh, pre access. So today we are going to play Daria, a lawful neutral mountain dwarf follower of Rolf. We promised you something last time by uh, telling you that we wanted to show off not the regular mode, but the ASCII mode. We did play the ASCII mode a couple of months ago, so let's switch for this round. We're going to switch to our uh, 3D ASCII mode, which you can do just with a press of a button. Now, toggling between these modes is really easy, and if you don't like one, well, there's always be you're always going to be able to mod this. We are find ourselves in the river level, and there's deadly water drains up there and some very, very strong currents, which we can't swim just yet because swimming hasn't been implemented yet. So this is something on the list that is going to hit the uh, alpha version very soon. But thankfully, near the uh, side of the river, the, the river side, it's, it's quite safe to traverse. So this is one of the new monsters we're encountering here. And it's a ghoul from a stone giant ghoul. So basically the worst combination that could happen for us. Because ghouls can paralyze and stone giants take a lot of punishment to defeat. Uh, so with our puny melee weapons we can't. And we can't quite get enough distance from it uh, to shoot at it. Well, like this cobalt water wasn't the way and not a match for us. But the bloody stone giant definitely is. And looks like we are cornered now. Well, and it stunned us. Uh, ghouls can paralyze, which is very, very dangerous. Thankfully, right now, we haven't implemented critical hits against paralyzed characters yet. If this was in, well, our Dwarven Archer would have had a very, very short time here in the river level. Uh, we can't really damage it with our weapons. So let's see what else we got. We found a potion of invisibility a little bit earlier. So let's try out if this works. No status messages yet. I don't know. We are going to go to early access very soon. And at that point, we are probably going to have all the messages in. But right now, it's still very, very early alpha. Well, at least he doesn't exactly know where we are. So he keeps wandering in random directions, searching for us. Sometimes he hits, but he, at least he doesn't paralyze anymore. Let's go through the door close it behind us and hope he doesn't follow. Well, the, he, he's not very smart for a zombie, but at least he has the right instincts. Uh, let's keep throwing closed doors in his way so we can, we can just go around him. And our invisibility wore off. There, more water. Thankfully, none too deep and no deadly drains. There are no ways yet of pushing monsters around, but they will be very soon. So if there were a deadly drain next to us, we... Wow, oh, that was a rather nasty trap. Um, so if there were a deadly drain, we would be able to push the zombie into it. Or the ghoul in this case. Well, speaking of deadly water drains, it looks like we're stuck here. Well, there's no going forward here. Nope, not going to enter that. Well, no, no real, no real abilities here, but at least we could use the uh, Rune of Accuracy to upgrade our broadsword. So in case we do encounter the bloody ghoul again, at least we have, we should be able to hit it slightly more often. Ah, uh, speaking of the devil, there we are. Let's keep shooting at it. At least we do some damage with the crossbow. Or uh, if we hit, that is. Yeah. We don't really have the right weapons to, to dig through the wall, sadly. Uh, I, I tried, but, you know, hitting a wall with a sword doesn't help. So we might as well try and hope that our rune of accuracy at least gives us a fighting chance here. Um, we do wear heavy armor, so unless he paralyzes us, we are not as much in danger as, well, I was, unless he paralyzes us, obviously. But still, our armor still holds. So 
they are going to become a lot more dangerous very, very soon. At least they give a very, very nice uh, boost of experience once defeated. Oof. So let's explore the rest of the level and see if we can find the stairs down. Well, we've been here before. There's something to the lower left. And closed doors. Closed doors are always a good sign. Unless we, you know, try to lock out a ghoul behind them. Yeah, generating a couple of experience points. We're going to keep the Minor Thunder Rune. There are no more zombies inside. Uh, I just noticed that we actually got enough uh, points to, to level up. So let's improve our crossbows in case, you know, we, we need to shoot something that's really powerful. Um, heavy armor is a lifesaver, especially for the Forever of Rolf. We uh, get additional armor points uh, every level up. Investing a bit of things to hit with a, with a blade in case we are forced in melee. And jumping over... Uh, Maybe a deadly water drain that's in the way might be useful in the long run. Nah, just an orc. We're not doing very well with, with shooting at things. And we do have a dexterity of 16, that's definitely above average. And we invest a lot of points into crossbow stuff, but well, the, the dice sometimes just iron on our side. Hmm. Looks like we do have to, or looks like we wouldn't have had to, to cross this river after all. So let's see if we can manage to f swim on the other side before being, well, that, that was easy, easy enough. So let's see if the exit to the next level it's on this side, then. Well, at least there's some monsters here. Potions are always good, and you never know what you need corpses for. Well, as an Adam player, you do need know what corpses are for, but we haven't implemented hunger just yet. Oh, a little bit of lava. At least it doesn't have any current or deadly drains, but we don't quite have the hit points to uh, go swimming in lava, even if we had the skill. You know, if you level your pyromancy up, your uh, fire skill is very, very high, you can actually get immune to lava and, and swim in lava to avoid enemies. No, no going through there either from this side. Well, there's still a couple of areas we haven't explored yet in this caves. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, look at that. There's an exit and a centipede. What are the new monsters? Uh, we added around 30 new monsters for this build. So this is something you can look forward to for the next alpha version. Which, by the way, you can sign up for by subscribing to the newsletter at www.ultimate-adam.com. So if you want to participate in the pre-alpha, the pre-early access version, uh, go there, subscribe. Don't forget to wishlist us on Steam. And I will see you guys next week. Hope you enjoyed this look at the 3D ASCII. And um, well, hope to see you next week here on this channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great weekend. Bye.